Hello and welcome to Now You're Cooking with Gas. This video is about adding a damage area, creating a health regeneration gameplay effect, and adding that to a pickup. We're going to start by copying the health attribute changed delegate functionality from the destructible class to the character class. Once again, this requires including gameplay effect types. create this function, which just calls the blueprint version. That compiled, we'll launch the editor from here. I'm going to start by creating a widget blueprint in this new UI folder. User interface, widget blueprint. It is a user widget type. Almost all of the ones you create will be. I call it WP HUD. For this, I'm just going to add a panel canvas. Add a progress bar. I call this bar health. Make sure that it's a variable. All the progress bars are, but still. I'm going to set the percent to 1 so it's full. I'm going to make it a little bigger. And then I'm going to hold shift and click to put it in the bottom left corner. Move it a little out. I'm going to add a function. I'll update health. This function will take health. And max health. Going to add a local variable, variable percent. Let's set that percent to zero. I'm going to run a sequence. I'm going to hold B and click for a branch. So anytime you have variables sent to a function, you can do get and the name of the variable, max health. It'll be under this variable section. So long as that is greater than zero. I'm going to calculate the percent. Set it. And in the sequence, I want to drag out bar health. Hold control when I let go. Set percent. 
and give it the percent value. Alright, in the third person character. Include the on health changed event. First, we're going to create a widget. This will be the widget we just created. I'm going to save this. And add it to the viewport. I call update health. We'll send along the new health value. And to get the max health value, we can use the ability system component. Get gameplay attribute value. So we just give this the attribute max health. And the value can go in there. All right, so now we're going to create the damage area. So it's just going to be a blueprint actor. This will just be a cube, just the scene root. And a box area, box collision. The cube, we're going to make it a little bigger and very short. The collision area on top of it. Need to go up. About 600. So there's various ways to do this. You could just in uh, event tech apply a very small amount of damage. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use the set timer by event. The custom event. Call that damage timer. I want this to fire every half second. I want it to loop. What this is going to do is overlap everything in the, uh, on top of it. We're going to use the uh, position of the box. And the extents. We need to make an object type array right here. And we'll just include pawn. So that will uh, get all the pawns that are within the box uh, collision area. We're going to four each on that. Array. Here we can just get the ability system component, and if it is valid, we 
we want to make effect context and make outgoing spec. This will be the damage class we've used. And with that, we're going to assign the damage value, which will make a variable. I'm going to compile here so that I can set the default value of the variable, which will be negative 10. And from the ability system component, we can again call apply gameplay effect spec. We're going to use self in this case because the damage area is not an ability system component, so there would be no source value that differs. All right, and the one last thing is to make sure that the set by color damage is set. So then we'll go play the game. Turn on the debug for the ability system. You can see the health and the max health over there. And you can see that damage is being taken and the health bar is being updated. Next, we can create a gameplay effect. Call this GE Health Regen. This is going to be infinite. The modifier is that health is being added to two health every 0.2 seconds. So that will be it will be gaining uh, 10 health per second. So with that compiled, we'll go into third-person character, look for default effects, add another one, health regen, and when we step into the damage area, you can see we're taking the damage but also regenerating it. Step off and then regen. All right, so we will take that off here. I go back into the GE uh, health region. I'm gonna switch it from infinite to duration. Make this last for two seconds. And I'm gonna create another actor blueprint. Call it BP Pickup. This is just going to be a sphere. It'll set as the root. I set this to 0.2. I'm going to switch the collision from block to overlap. Uh, when it overlaps an actor, we'll check to see if there is a ability system component. If there is, we're going to apply gameplay effect. No spec, just the effect to self. So this will be the regen effect. Do not need a gameplay or uh, an effect context. And we'll also de destroy the pickup. Add this to the level over here. 
play. Take some damage. And pick up the pickup. You can see health regens for two seconds. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video and you would like to see more, you know what to do. If you have suggestions on future content or abilities you would like to see, let me know.